Assalamu alaikum, namaste, hotep, shalom alaikum, peace. This is Tracy Lene Muhammad, and I just wanted a few minutes of your very valuable and your very precious time to share with you how I do my full moon ritual. Today marks the first full moon of 2021, and it's in the astrological sign of Leo. I'm not going to actually do my ritual right now. I'm just going to share with you how I do it. The reason why I'm not doing it and letting you watch is because the ritual is a very personal space between you and your higher power. And it was it's probably best that you not share it with others. The first thing I do, I have a playlist, Mary J. Blige songs coming on just constantly, and I sit for a few moments take some deep breaths in through my nose and out through my mouth to get like the cleansing energy going. The reason why I use this music is because for me, music energetically puts me in the space I want to be in based upon what the song is saying. This song is saying no more drama. With this full moon, I want to release anything that brings me pain, drama, toxicity. I want to let it go. Now, what I do all month long, though, is I have this book. It's called my release book. Whenever there's a situation that's bothering me, I take my pen, this exact pen and this exact book, and write it all out. I believe that taking things out of my heart onto the pen and paper takes it outside of my body, and I can deal with it better from an observer's point of view, but I can also let go of it. This box right here is my release box. If I encounter a situation at the first of the month, I want to get it out of me. I take it out of me and I place it in this box. By the end of the month, whatever is in the box, that's when I use it to release. Because we're in the full moon in Leo, I know my natal chart and the specific things that is best for me to release at that time. However, if other things are bothering me, I don't hold on to them. I let them go. But I always want to do so with love. So I have crystals. I have the um, rose quartz and a clear quartz. I program my clear quartz to my heart to release any of the pain, the stress, all of it comes out of me. The rose quartz is because I always wanna do all things in love. I personally believe that love is all we ever really have. It's always just love. I choose love. And one of my really good friends has coined this saying, love melts all blockages. That's Sister Allison Muhammad says that, and that resonates with me. I also use a blue candle because blue represents forgiveness and I'm always trying to forgive. So I use the blue candle, I burn the candle. I also, a very, very good dear sister friend of mine, Sister Latasha Muhammad gave me this uh, singing bowl. And so I started out and this is how I call my higher being into this sacred space when I'm coming into meditation. I do this for a while. When I feel that significantly my higher power is in, I then use, these are charcoals that I use in the tongs because they can be very hot, and the cauldron. What the cauldron does is hold the, the, the uh, charcoal, and this is my lighter, I light that all up. I use different types of incense in it. What I've been really resonating with lately is road opener because if I'm releasing drama from my life, I want the road to open more. I burn that. I bring it all around the room. Some people use sage. Some people use Palo Santo. You can use whatever resonates with your soul. I'm just wanting to share with you. I had a client, because I do energy readings, ask me to send her the step-by-step -step way to do it. So that's why I'm doing this video, but I'd love to share it as well after i've done all of the setting up because i believe that energetically rituals just help you do the real work after i've done it i've written everything out i've listened to the music sometimes i feel like i need to dance a little bit around sometimes i just sit still your soul will tell you what to do i then take the the papers that are in my sacred box this beautiful sacred box and i decided on a beautiful box because it makes me feel more connected i love beautiful things I take it out, take my torch lighter. I have a fireplace here, but if I if if you don't, you can use a fireproof bowl. I put that paper in there. I intend 
with my mind and my heart to light this paper and allow myself to watch the paper burn and as it burns I am sensing and feeling and deciding that those issues are burning out of me. They're no longer valid. Doesn't mean that the minute I do it, that situation doesn't exist, but it takes away the power. It's like when you have your television plugged up, then you can turn it on. But if you unplug your television, the television is still there, but you can't turn it on. It doesn't work. So that's how I feel about energy that no longer serves me. I'll never forget situations, but I don't have to feed into them and allow them to take away the moment I'm in now. I believe that forgiveness is the key to releasing and unlocking all of the patterns that hold me steady and hold me down. I don't want to be like that. I want to be free. So it's really interesting. This next song by Mary J comes on. After I've done all of it, Usually, it always happens because I let my songs uh, shuffle through. It's always the song that lets me know you're free. When those situations come back up, I go, didn't I burn you out? And if I feel like there's more, take this resent book. I don't know if I said to you, I don't write anything else in this book, but things that I'm ready to let go of. That way, it keeps the energy of release. I also do not censor what I say. This is my space. I am authentically Tracy, and I let it go authentically. I write it out. I use motherfuckers. I do whatever I need to do to get it out of me, because if it stays inside of me, it could create a dis-ease in my body. This is the full moon in Leo. So those Leo traits, you know, Leos are natural born leaders, but they can also have some egotistical things that they allow to get ahead of them. I burn out those things. Like I said earlier, I have a natal chart, so I know exactly what's best for me to release during this time. And you, too, can have a natal chart. I'm an energy reader, and I can help you with that. Or you may know somebody else that can, but it is really important that you take care of you. You live your life the way you need to live it, and you have to release things. Just wanted to share that, the tools that I use during my release journey. I'm going to do my ritual at some point today because it's very important to me that I'm continuously shedding things that no longer serve me so that things that serve me have space to really flourish. I thank you so very much for your valuable time. I hope that today is not only perfect for you, that you release things that no longer serve you. If you like this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and share. Assalamu alaikum, namaste, hotep, shalom.